Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor and hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure you're not missing any of the content we have coming out. And for this video, we are going to be covering X-Men's Hellions, issue number 9. Now if you haven't been keeping up with the Hellions line, go ahead and check out the link down in my description. It'll get you completely caught up on everything that's been going on with Hellions since the Ten of Swords event. And with that being said, let's dive into this issue. Alright guys, so getting into this issue, we pick up at Bar Sinister. And we have Mr. Sinister and Mastermind sitting down having a couple tea, cup of tea. And these two are discussing how Mastermind seems to be out of moves. And he's come to Mr. Sinister to make a deal. And Sinister being his smug, arrogant self is being very cocky about it. Just being like, yeah, I know you're going to come to me. I know you're going to make the deal because you have no other options but to make this deal like I'm telling you to do right now. And as he goes to take a sip of his tea, he tells him it, it tastes like just garbage. And then he immediately falls over on the ground, clutching at his stomach because he has just been poisoned by Mastermind. And this is where Mastermind tells him that he wasn't out of options. He still had one up his sleeve that he's been saving. And now it's all going to unfold. And that is the beginning of the benign betrayal of Nathaniel Essex. And then we're taking over to Nanny. And Nanny is getting Orphan Maker all suited up. And Orphan Maker comes out of this bigger, much bigger, not really fitting the suit well. And Orphan Maker's complaining quite a bit about this, but Nanny's kind of ignoring it. Kind of just like, you know what, I will get to it later. I'll have to make some adjustments. You're just going to have to deal with it for right now. With Orphan Maker not liking this, getting very angry, and Nanny turning around just saying, you know what, maybe you don't need me anymore. Maybe you don't need Nanny. And Orphan Maker apologizes. And Nanny tells Orphan Maker, listen, like you're not the only one that is demanding attention. And this is when we see one of those little robot smileys that they had faced off in last issue. And it's kind of like a little baby version. It's looking actually a lot like Nanny at this point. And then we're taken over to Purgatory where everybody's working out doing their exercises, training, whatever the case may be. And we have a, a conversation happen between Empath and Havoc. And really it's just Empath being his, his natural, mean self and messing with Havoc. And we're seeing a lot of different things right here. We're seeing, you know, Grey Crow and Wild Child having a conversation. Wild, Wild Child is, is really on edge because he needs to find his pack, if you will. He needs to find his She-Wolf. And so everybody's a little on edge, ready to ready to get into some action, is what it seems like. And this is when they get word that they're needed. And this is when we pick up at the point. And Sage is letting them know that one of their own has been kidnapped. And she's acting like this is a huge emergency. Which it is, you know, someone's been kidnapped, someone's been stolen. It's a big deal. And she lets them know that they lost all evidence of where Mr. Sinister was abducted because everything's been swiped off of all of their surveillance infrastructure. And the whole crew looks at her and is just like, you're talking about Sinister. Like, what do we do? Like, oh, oh God, no, not, not Sinister. And everybody just busts out laughing because at the end of the day, they don't care about Sinister. Like, he may be like the this leader of the squad in this aspect, but... He's not respected in any regards by any of them. But nonetheless, they go searching for him. And they end up at the Central Park Gate. And they're met by none other than Mastermind. He's their kind of contact here. And they get inside of a limousine and they start heading off. And he's supposed to be taking them somewhere only for him to manipulate everything. In one minute, they think they're on a cruise ship. The next, they're on a plane. He's manipulating everything. He's controlling their perception. He's controlling their reality. And so in essence, he is controlling them. And everybody's ready to fight. Everybody pulls out their powers, pulls out their weapons, and goes to attack Mastermind, only for our crew to fall from the sky. And we see the Team Hellions falling one by one, leaving giant blood spats on the ground. The only one standing being Mastermind. Now the thing is, our heroes, or anti-heroes, our mutants, the Hellions, aren't dead. They've been left unconscious, but still alive. 
so they're not going to be resurrected. And then this is when we see the arrival of Arcade. And it seems to be he is the mastermind behind everything going on. No pun intended because he is working with Mastermind. And that will be the end of this issue. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. We are seeing the arrival, the re-return of Arcade. I don't think he's been in comics for quite a little while now. At least not to my recognition. But I do remember him being in Spider-Man comics. He was a big Spider-Man villain for a little while there. Now, when I did read those, the artwork had been drastically different compared to what it is today. So I'm really excited to see how this is all going to play out. We're seeing Mastermind and Arcade team up together. They're taking down the Hellions. We can only imagine that it's for ill intentions. And who knows what they could possibly want from Mr. Sinister. But yeah, if you have not yet, do me a favor. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that sub button and that notification bell. Make sure you're not missing any of the content we have coming out. If you live in the Medford, Oregon area, go ahead and go check out Rogue City Comics. They actually got a new sign in this week, so it's not easy to miss. You'll definitely see it. Just type it into your GPS. It's right there in kind of a historic downtown area of Medford, Oregon. Really awesome comic shop. Very knowledgeable when it comes to comics. Got tons of old stuff. Tons and tons of new stuff from DC, Marvel, a bunch of indie comic creators. One of my favorite, David Pepos. I just picked up one of his comics, which is Scout's Honor. And I also picked up a uh, the first issue where we see the first appearance of Spider-Man Noir, which was a really awesome gr grab, and I'm glad I was able to get it there. So be sure to check them out if you're in the area. Also, check out Comic Breakdown and more podcasts available on iTunes, Spotify, wherever you get your podcasts. We talk about everything from comic books to all the newest stuff with WandaVision. We're going to be talking a lot about Winter Soldier and Falcon when that comes out. As well as, you know, Black Widow, so on and so forth. If you want to support the channel in another way, go ahead and check out our Patreon. Got tons of exclusive Patreon member-only items. So go ahead, check that out. And until the next video.